Hey Greg, uh, congratulations on the win. Were you surprised at how dominant you were in this fight? Uh, it's, it didn't seem like he had a shot at all in this one. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, again, I was kind of talking to somebody. Um, you know, and the last time I was really on top of a person in the cage was uh, probably Kenny Florian, which right. was 09. It's all been stand up after that. It's all been, you know, ups and downs and just all kinds of craziness. Uh, th this is, you know, I've had good camps the last two. Um, the last camp was a good camp, but it was a waste of time just because I was going up against Hall. You know, he's a coward. Uh, but, um, you know, this was probably the best camp hands down. Um, just all the coaches, you know, communicate and ask me how I am, like pulling back, you know, if I need to. So uh, it really came together, you know, unbelievable. And I don't really uh, see anybody stopping me after this. Were you surprised you can get the finish in this one? Uh, it looked like you almost had it yeah. there, especially in the later rounds. Yeah, no, he was uh, he was doing a good job. He was slippery. Um, he comes from a good team, and and uh, you know the guys did some pretty good due diligence. Um, you know he he caught me on a knee. Um, you know in the first, and and like nothing crazy, but I could tell. I was like, oh, they're they're working their shit. All right, cool. So, uh, but we really wanted to break him. We're, um, we were prepared to, uh, you know, prepared to get him tired in round one. But uh, you know, he was pretty, he was pretty game. So you know, we just, we just kept going on that game plan. Great. After the fight, you called out Artem Lobov. Um, yeah. What was the reason for that? Is there a particular reason why you want to fight him? Yeah, because I don't want to, uh, um, you know, go up against a hall again. You know, that was a waste of time. That was a waste of camp. That was a waste of energy. You know, I want people that come to the fight. You know, Artem does. Hats off to him, but, you know, I want to beat him. I want to beat a name. You know, I don't want the halls anymore, you know. And I'll never take another uh, fight that, you know, the person's a coward, you know, turning their back and running. Like, you can't fight a person that doesn't want to fight. And that was a waste of time. That was a waste of camp. You know, and everybody is like, oh, he got beat. He's done. No, I'm not done. You know, that was nothing. He didn't even punch me. He barely even punched me. I barely even punched him. There was no risk in that fight. It was a waste of time. You know, and everybody still called me out. You know, that wasn't my fault. You know, he's the bitch. He's the coward. And I'll never take a fight like that again. Do you think people have written you off? Too yeah, they have. But that's okay. Because every article, every tweet I see, um, you know, about Gray should retire, Gray should do this. All I read is what they would do if they were me. They would retire, they would quit. I don't quit. I don't quit till I win. You know, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm back now. I'm coming, I'm coming for all the top guys. You know, that was a waste of time against Hall. Waste of camp, waste of energy. You know, and I had to take some time off that to get my mind right. How could it be, like how could he beat me like that? How could he take a check from me like that? So, you know, but I got, you know, I got my mind right, you know, and uh, you know, like ultimately, just because I'm down, I never want to quit, ever. You know, I don't want my daughter to know I quit. I don't want anybody to know, you know, and if that's what you would do, cool. But I don't do that. You know, I keep going until I'm done, until my contract's done, until I win, you know, that's it. What's different about you as a featherweight as opposed to a lightweight? Size, I think, obviously. You know, my strength is still there. Uh, speed's still there, power's still there. Um, you know, I just, uh, you know, my weight just came down as I got older, got smarter about in between camps, instead of going out, drinking beers, yeah. eating burritos at 2 a.m., whatever it is, you know, my wife just, she cooks all my food. You know, she's a holistic doctor. She's going to school to become one. So, you know, our nutrition's just dialed in. Um, keep in shape all year round. And, uh, you know, it just came down. And, and so, like, maybe if I was still doing, a, you know, drinking beer all the time or just kind of in between camps, I'd be up to 80. But now I'm, I'm 65, just you know, out of camp. What about tonight, though? Are you going to, you know, celebrate, get, get a nice meal tonight? You get to enjoy this one. It was a big one. Yeah, line. I mean, I always like a couple beers, but yeah. I'm going back to my kid. I'm going back to my wife. And, and uh, you know, 
just you know, job all done. You know, hang out with my cornermen. You know, they're my boys. So, yeah. Have you used the performance center at all since it's opened? Yes. Has that been a big help to you? Or not? That that I I am so thankful. To, um, you know, just about that. Uh, you know, when the guys can fly in, just get all the stuff. But they hired all the best coaches. You can do the testing. Take of 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 you. you you know, you got to use it because uh, um, it's important, smart people. You know, you're going in there and it's not like they're trying to change you up. They're trying to work together, you know, talk to your coaches, you know, talk to you. Okay, here's what we need to do. How do you plan on doing this? And you talk together and, and uh, you know, it's like an NFL team. Everybody works. You just have to have coaches who are, pre who are prepared to talk to them, you know, and work and, like, you know, just learn off them too, and 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 uh, you know, collaborate. Great, you said it's been a while since you kind of grinded up on it out like that. Yeah. In the case, Kenny that Florian. A, was that a conscious decision by you to go to kind of return to your roots to go back to that, or is that just how it worked out? Um, you know, it's crazy. I've been doing it in camps, you know, for the last like three, four years. <laughs> I just haven't put it. You know, I get in the cage and I. Uh, you know, I, it just kind of switches to, oh, let's scrap, let's fight. You know, I'm going to punch him. He's going to punch me. But, uh, you know, now it was just more of, um, you know, it was the easiest route. Uh, you know, he's a dangerous kind of striker. He's got a good kick. He's got a good left. So um, uh, we were going to do it for a round, you know, just to get him tired. But he was game. You know, and we kept doing it, and we kept going. You're obviously frustrated about the last fight. So did that have anything to do with it in your mind? Like, I need to impose what I want to do. I'm not going to let anybody do what they want to do anymore. Yeah, I mean, it definitely happened to where Hall did change my mind. Like, holy shit, like, a guy can run and sit, uh, sit down on my, on, you know, on his ass and win a fight. Like, you know, when the ref tells me right before we ask him, hey, what happens if he keeps going to his butt? That's timidity. We'll penalize him. So I'm in this fucking fight like, what's going on here? We're, we're, you know, we're going back to the corner like, well, I don't really know what that was. What, what's the score? It was just confusing. Like, who's confusing a fight? You just punch people and you take them down and pose your will. Like, that's, that's a fight. You know, when you're counting up, like, okay, he kicked me once, but you know, I chase him on the octagon a little bit, and uh, let's one plus two equals, and then minus that one kick. Like that's how it felt in the fucking fight. I don't want to do math. I want to fight. Great. Does this performance <laughs> help you forget about the last one? Because I'll never just... forget about that. Just because it was, it was a heartbreaker. It was just, you know, I kind of knew going into it that it was going to be boring. It was going to be, uh, you know, dumb, but. I never want to turn down a fight because I feel like I can beat anybody when it comes to a fight. And, um, uh, you know, it just it just kind of hurt after that. That was right around December 3rd. And so, you know, I lose a fight. It's Christmas time. Like, you know, my kid's right there. I'm looking at my kid like, fuck, this is going to be a shitty Christmas. <laughs> like, you know, almost. But, uh, you know, it, it was just, it was just, it just sucked. Would you say this was your best performance since the Florian fight at 118? Um, Edgar was f uh, fun. You know, it was a good draw. And, um, but yeah, you know, I'm just back to to training how I need to be training, and and uh, you know, I'm not jumping around gym to gym to gym. Um, you know, like in the last like five years, I've had you know probably eight different coaches you know, boxing coaches, just all over the place. It's just been like, a, like, um, you know, don't do this. Okay, do this, we're gonna change this up. <laughs> just like, holy shit. Let me just get a couple camps. You know, I got, uh, you know, I got all the coaches now. You know, we've had a couple camps. And so, you know, it's coming together. You know, there's still more to come. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>